Hey guys, how's it going? This is Covid from Cortico Video Channel and welcome back to another video on this channel. So in this video, I am going to be uh, telling you guys top five programming languages to learn in 2019. So these uh, uh, programming languages are based on three things. They are productivity, easiness and demand. So we will talk about how productive is a programming language in this era, that is 2019. And next is uh, easiness. How easy is it learned for beginner to start and to go to advance? And next is demand of the market. So how the programming language is in how much demand? Okay, so we will know in depth with the data like uh, annual income salary of uh, developer. So without getting said, let's jump right into it. So before starting this video, I would like to is uh, you to see the below of the video there is a red subscribe button you can click that if you want to get more videos like this okay so go and subscribe to this channel and click that bell notification um, icon right beside it so that you could not miss any notifications of my video so uh let's jump over to it so number five or uh, starting with number five in number five, we have Ruby on Rails. Actually, it's not a programming language. Uh, programming language is just Ruby in which Rails framework is added. So Rails work on Ruby programming language and it's a web framework for Ruby programming language. So it's good for uh, web development. And uh, every annual salary for Ruby developer is $74,137. Uh, in 2018 and also is uh, approximately the same in 2019 too. So I don't think that this uh, thing is going to rise or fall down. I don't think. So Ruby is pretty much uh, easy to learn but the demand is pretty much low of this programming language so I put it in number 5. So moving on number 5 there is another language too that is C sharp. So uh, in my score they both got the same percentage that is 89.3 percent and I thought of making the same one. So I would uh, like to put C sharp as a number five and yes both C sharp and uh, Ruby are getting same and next uh, C sharp is a little bit hard to learn but the productivity is so much good bad guys. Um, C sharp is uh, mainly used in uh, wave sorry desktop applications to uh, make ma applications of desktop more efficient and more easy to use so csrp is pretty much hard to learn but it can work so i don't uh, suggest you if you are a beginner so you uh, i don't suggest you to take that one so next uh, is it's uh, the average annual salary of uh, csrp developer is dollar 68293 so that is pretty much good but not that much high also so in number four our uh, PHP comes in which stands for hypertext preprocessor so PHP is uh, basically a web uh, developing programming language and you can use uh, PHP in websites so it's pretty much used in web development and <clears throat> yeah I think that uh, uh, PHP is easy to learn, easy to learn. But nowadays, product uh, the demand of PHP is going low and low because I think that the list, uh, the I I mean the analytics of this programming language is going downwards rather than going upwards. So I don't think that you should learn. But uh, in this now, uh, PHP is good. And many of uh, programmers are using PHP and the annual uh, annual uh, salary of PHP developer is 62,316 so it's cool but less than CSR uh, okay so I put this in number four because the easiness it's kind of easy to learn um, you can use PHP with different frameworks like E and E2 and if you want to learn PHP, I will. I think I will link down a good uh, YouTube channel or documentations link down below. 
And next is number three. So here comes Java. You might have listened about Java. So who haven't listened about Java? Yeah. So Java has good market job market in 2018 and 2019. So too probably it's gonna be good and it's gonna be all right. And Java was uh, kind of I think that it was from very long period of time. So yeah, Java is kind of good to learn. Uh, it can make uh, you can use Java for Android development and desktop development, web development, and also in machine learning and artificial intelligence. So the annual uh, salary of a Java developer is seventy one thousand and five hundred and twenty seven. So kind of cool amount. But uh, don't think that these amounts are gonna be getting you will get. But uh, if you work hard and if you do hard. You can get much more than these also. And next is, uh, yeah, Java cannot be uh, suitable for beginners because it's also hard to learn. It's kind of like C sharp, but as its uh, market is high, so I put it in uh, third number. Okay, so number two comes JavaScript. Yeah, guys, you heard it right. Uh, JavaScript is also growing high and high in these days so javascript is basically it's used uh, everywhere i think so like uh, you can use run javascript and everywhere um, like uh, even in your chrome browser if you have google chrome you can go and click f2 well like this f2 well and then you can go to the console section of that uh, which pops up and console section and write your JavaScript code there and run in the real time. So it's kind of cool. Uh, you can build web apps, desktop apps, and even Android applications from JavaScript. So uh, there is uh, many programming, uh, many programming uh, channels on YouTube who teach you JavaScript. If you guys want to learn any of the uh, um, programming language the links of those documentations or any um, resources will be given down in the description box below go and check it out so uh, yeah annual uh, salary of uh, JavaScript developer is six digit one zero one two seven eight that is one hundred one thousand and two hundred and seventy eight dollars that's cool guys uh, yeah that's that's right and JavaScript is also easy programming language so you can learn it if even if you are a beginner so have you guys ever thought about final and first programming language yeah you might have thought about it uh, first one is Python yeah Python is a best programming language since 2017 and so I choose it uh, it's growing day by day and because of its versatility People use it in uh, web applications, uh, desktop apps, and uh, Android apps, uh, cognitive development, artificial intelligence, machine learning, kind of every sector. Um, it has the top job market in 2018 and has full potential for go uh, high in 2019. So, I will suggest you to learn Python. And if you want to learn Python, then there is my channel that. Playlist link will be in the down description box below. You can go and check it out. And I have made as easy as possible to make you learn more about Python. And yeah, uh, if you want to know how Python is uh, used, how much is it vastly used, uh, then even in the platform you are watching, YouTube is made up of Python. So uh, there are many companies like Instagram, Snapchat, Reddit much other Google and Facebook too they all are using Python as their programming languages for their platform so uh, you can uh, predict how much cool and how much job market does this Python have so uh, yeah by this you can so my recommendation to you is pro Python programming you, you should definitely learn it and the average salary of Python developer is you can't guess one one nine 
and 920 that is 190,920 dollars per year that's cool yeah okay so you can go and check it out and if you have any difficulties in learning python you can just mail me at this address over here link you can see in the down of this video and that address and you can also join me on linkedin page uh, connect me and there i will get post python related and programming related stuff and i am thinking of making some machine learning videos on my channel too and yeah i provide uh, machine learning courses uh, with certifications for you guys and you can uh, uh, contact me in my linkedin or email if you want to get certified and in machine learning artificial intelligence python programming and web development and any other sectors and you can call contact me over there and yeah i have uh, decided to load down another course that is uh, getting zero to hero getting from zero to hero that means I will guide you to get your first paycheck out of your programming language for this you don't have to need any of the programming skills and I will guide you from basic to advanced and yeah you will be able to get your first paycheck in your home that's good and yes uh, you can uh, so if you want more the the so if you want more details about this you can go down and check the description there is more details and yeah you can support me and yeah I have patreon page you can where you can uh, donate me some money for this channel and me myself also I will be using it in my productivity in my youtube channel so many videos were not coming since and I decided to make the new video this vacation okay so so this was for today's video hope you guys like this video if you guys do like please hit the like button and don't forget to share this video with your friends and family so that they could know how uh, what programming language uh, they should learn and top five programming language to learn in 2019 so yeah that's it and thank you so much for watching and i'll meet you in the next one